Yes, America, it has happened again. This time, Santa Rosa, California. Now, uh, about a week and a half ago, or maybe a couple of weeks ago, I did a show called the Lonzo Show Border Patrol Edition. And in that show, um, my boss, you know, the Hispanic guy I worked for, he was very outraged and pissed off that he had found out that, you know, there was a Border Patrol agent allowing people to come in for $1,500 a pop. $1,500 a pop, this guy's allowing people to come in. And over the course of his uh, activities of letting illegals in this country, this man also let truckloads of cocaine in. Now, I don't know how long he was doing this, but this man allegedly had earned up to $30 million. Million dollars! That's a lot of money. And once again, it has happened again. But this time, it's in Santa Rosa, California. And this time, it's not a Border Patrol agent, but a DMV employee. This DMV employee was charging $2,500 a pop. $2,500 a piece for identification or driver's license. $2,500 a person. Per person. That is fucked up. Excuse my language, but, you know, if you know somebody's illegal, help them. Don't give them the kitchen. Help them. Help them go get their paperwork filled out. Help them get back to their country so when their papers come through, they can come in here legally. Help them. Help them up out of here. That's what you need to do. Like I said, I got too many friends who are Hispanic that are suffering because of illegals. And, you know, once again, I'm not bashing illegals, but... I'm sorry. I don't have $2,500 just to go buy another driver's license if I lose one. I don't have $2,500 to, to buy an ID and mail it to my girlfriend and she looked just close enough as the woman on the ID for her to come into America and already have identification. I don't have it like that. So... For some people to be hungry, starving, whatever, yada, yada. That's a lot of damn money. $2,500, shit. This is my freedom. Give me one of those American Freedom Cards. I'll buy one, $2,500. That's not right. I wish I had a job for the Border Patrol. I wish I had a job at the DMV. But I have a job at a Mexican restaurant. That's it. No more, no less. Just a black man working at a Mexican restaurant. I feel sorry for my employers. Because it, it, I mean, I was with the boss the other day. We had to go down and, and get some applications for a, a couple of jobs we got coming up. And he's like, fuck. They want $4,500 if we bring this out. And then another few, you know, hundred dollars if we if we do this. You can't take the fryers because if we take some fryers, that's another little something something. And, oh, what are we gonna do? He said we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way. We'll we'll cook everything at the restaurant. We'll bring it out in hot boxes, and you know, put it in chafing dishes. And oh, I think he says he had the chafing dishes. I did. Well. This takes money off this, takes money off this, takes money off this. But since we have sternos out there, we still got to pay at least $1,000 to have sternos. You know, sternos, at least $1,000 to put these sternos underneath our shaping dishes. But some guy or some girl can walk down the street with a pot, a metal pot with a lid on it, and sell the same food that this man has to sell in this restaurant. Everything we do at the restaurant costs money. I don't pay that money. It comes out of this guy's pocket, but still, still. When people get it the right way, 
and the people are taking it the wrong way, that isn't right for those who deserved it. You know, a lot of people say this and that about me. When I first started this YouTube thing, I was hard on immigrants. Then I went to my boss's house to pick up some paperwork and a co-worker and I noticed all these statues of blackness in the boss's in the boss's parents' house, like in the in the you know the big house, you know, some people call it. But um it's it's pitiful. It is sad to know this people's family been here all this damn time and now they getting stepped over worse than us. Because see, here in America Everything is built on perception. You know, they say your first impression is the lasting impression. If I looked like I was a Mexican person and I was just walking down the street and I had everything that I have now, when someone of another color sees me, let it be a black guy or a white guy or whatever, the first thing they say is that fucking Mexican. And I have been with these people. I've been walking with these people and it's goddamn fucking Mexican this, Mexican that. But yet and still, there's a Mexican with a good job, a good job, the DMV, fucking everybody. You know, uh, what is it about a state job that wasn't giving him enough? Was it the benefits? Was it the, the paycheck? What was not enough? Now, people use the word invasion. If this was a military operation, they're into the infrastructure. Yeah, apparently they got county jobs and government jobs. Come on. If this was a serious military operation, we would already be overrun and we'd already have lost. We'd be like in fall back, fall back, fall back. We're not surging forward. We're falling back. And I hate that to say this. You know, a lot of illegal people are here for good purposes. They want to better themselves. They just don't know how to go by to do it. They don't know how they don't know the processes in which to get it done correctly. So they scrounge up their money and just come here. Fuck it, I'll deal with it when the time comes. Till then I'll earn some money. That's wrong. You know? I'm never going to knock anybody for trying to better their life. But, when the quality of my life goes down, forsaking a handful of people who should not be here in the first place, when the people I work for and the company I work for suffer because of people who shouldn't be here in the first place, and um, I said that these illegals are doing slave labor. Not slave labor, but slave slave jobs. In other words, they turn these good jobs into low wage paying jobs, flood the market with workers that can do the work without complaining. I need a cigarette. Oh, you when you go to work, look at how many people stop to go get their own personal breaks. Watch who works and who doesn't work at work. And take yourself out of the equation. Don't say, oh, I'm always working. Don't look at yourself as if you even count. And you look around the office, you look around the job site, and you tell me who's working. And what hurts me about this whole situation is, like I said, I have friends that have been in this country for over 40 years. Their kids were all born here. And when you see one of these kids walking down the street, the stereotypical fucking Mexican comes out of people's mouth. This is not that person. But, in a saturated world, all you see, what you see with your eyes is what you believe. You can't believe anything that anybody tells you on YouTube, not even me, or anybody. But one thing I know you will believe is what you see with your eyes. And perception is how we're being controlled. I can't, the light beams so hard in my eyes that when I try to focus in on a timer, I can't even see the numbers. Let me see if I turn this light with a, 
would mess up. Normally it looks like